Greetings, my name is Bob Marks and I wanted to talk to you about eBears, which is a course in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department at Baylor University. I wanted to talk about the reasons why we have eBears, some of the policy, and some of the reasons I think that you'll really enjoy it. First of all, let's talk about some of the reasons. One of them is avoiding bad breadth. Many times as a graduate student and either the master's or the PhD program, you're doing some work in some relatively narrow areas. and We would like to make sure that you do have a little bit of diversity and this is a fun way, I think, to expose the graduate students and the professors to some of the exciting different areas that are going on in electrical and computer engineering because that's the last thing we want. We don't want you to have bad breath. Uh, a second reason is the celebration of the Lordship of Christ. Baylor is a Christian university. The uh, Profuturus at Baylor uh, reminds us that Baylor University remains a place where the Lordship of Jesus Christ is embraced, studied, and celebrated. And certainly eBears is a great venue for doing that. So occasionally you will see Christian-oriented presentations at eBears. Yet another reason to have eBears is to expose you to research opportunities from professors. Many times professors will be in search for research assistance. What better way to expose students to research opportunities than to do so in a seminar? And so many times this is one of the reasons that we do have eBears. In a similar fashion, many times we have new professors which are coming in. These new professors typically have research assistantships which they would like to offer to graduate students and they are looking for some good people to offer those research assistantships to. And eBears affords them the opportunity to talk about their research so that they can recruit graduate students and on, a, on the positive note give you, the graduate student, if you're interested in recruited, a research assistantship. Another reason that we offer eBears is because it helps us get around some SACS requirement. What is SACS? SACS is an acronym for Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. And there are some requirements for SACS accreditation. One is ethics. Baylor uh, and SACS requires the teaching of ethics to our graduate students and eBears is a good vehicle for presentation of ethics-oriented presentations. Another reason is that SACS requires that our graduate students have some degree of skill in making presentations. As we will talk about a little bit more in detail later, it is a requirement that before you graduate that you give a seminar in eBears, either for your master's uh, thesis defense or one of your presentations as a PhD student. Uh, having these presentations in an eBears format allows us to assess your performance and allows us to meet these uh, SACS requirements. How will you know where and when the eBears are? Well, it will be given from me as an email and the email will give the title of the presentation and when and where the presentation is at. And this is an example of a typical email that will be uh, sent out. You'll notice on the bottom of the email is a very small URL address. That points to the web page on which we chronicle and archive all of the eBears presentations. One of the reasons we do this, other than having a good archive, is that occasionally a speaker will have some PowerPoint presentation or some additional biographical or abstract sort of information, and we can include this on the web page as an attachment. So this is here for your uh, education and edification and also to let you know when the eBears are. I would count more on the emails than I would the web page because sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the web page to be updated. With that then, let's go to some of the policy associated with eBears. Number one, very important, it is a graduation requirement. All graduate students in ECE, whether they be masters or PhD students, are required to take eBears every semester. There are, of course, exceptions. If you're not going to be on campus because you're doing a co-op sort of uh, employment that semester or 
uh, possibly it's the last semester of your degree and the only thing that you have to do is to write your dissertation or your thesis and you're maybe just taking one or two credits, then you will be excused from eBears. But please let me know so that there's no confusion about that as a requirement. Uh, other than that, again, it's required every semester that you're our graduate student here at Baylor. There is an attendance policy. The course itself is pass or fail, and you are allowed every semester one unexcused absence. And if you have two or more unexcused absences, you will not pass the requirement, which leads us into um, a place where I'd rather not talk about because the eBear seminars are not regularly scheduled, there will be often cases where you have a conflict. Uh, you will either be taking a class or teaching a class or teaching a lab, or maybe this is the time you meet regularly with your research group. And uh, what do you do if you do have a conflict and there is an eBears? Uh, besides this, there's always health issues where somebody has a, a cold or, or there could even be, for example, a death in the family. If any of these are applicable to you when there is an eBear seminar, simply send me an email. Explain to me why you can't come. It can be in just a few words, and uh, you will be excused. In fact, what will happen is once you send me an email, I will return your email with one of these. It's a get out of eBear's free card, and it will give you an excused absence for that um, for that specific eBears. In some cases, your conflict with eBears will be such that you'd have to miss the first half or the second half, which would require you to either come late or leave early. There's no hard and fast rule about this. If it's a seminar that you really want to see, go ahead and feel free to come late or to leave early. But in general, I think it's best that the entire seminar be missed. Now the most important part. Sometime in your career here at Baylor as a graduate student in ECE, it will be your turn to present an ECE eBears seminar. It's required that your master's thesis or a PhD presentation be presented in an eBears sort of format. One of the SACS requirements is your presentations need to be attended by students, and eBears requires that students be in the audience. So here's the way it works. When it's time for you to give your seminar, either your master's defense or a PhD uh, sort of presentation, work out the time and the place with your committee. I don't need to be involved in that. Once you have the time and the place vetted out by your committee, please just inform me. I need the time and the place, I need the title of your talk, and I need a picture of you. So send out a picture and then I will take care of um, publicizing your eBears talk. Your eBears talk is publicized not only within ECS but across campus. In fact, it's distributed across campus by the vice provost of research who is very interested in the sort of things that we're doing here. So that basically wraps it up. I will tell you that eBears is going to be very exciting typically. Uh, you'll come across many talks that you'll be really excited about. And I'll be honest with you, there will be some that are boring or very poorly presented. That's what happens when you go to a series of seminars. But I think in general you'll be well pleased and you'll learn a heck of a lot. I would ask that when you attend the eBears that you please afford the speaker the courtesy that you would like to be afforded. Please pay attention to the speaker. Don't spend your time on your phone or on your computer. So thanks for your attention, for um, listening, and we'll see you at the next eBears.